the last class you remember what we have seen huh? yeah we have seen johnson's counter later on the main topic was the pulse generator right so given an arbitrary pulses which has to be generated depending on that we have seen what procedure has to be followed to generate the same sequence right you remember that you know the pulse generator was a sequential uh, like a sequential circuit or a series circuit one after the others uh, the sequence was getting generated so can we have the reverse way around like you have been given a sequence and you have been asked to detect like what kind of up uh, if a typical pattern is getting appeared or not see what i'm saying is <coughs> so far what we have seen uh, we saw that you know this if there is a if you want typical pattern of 1 1 let's say if you have if you want such kind of patterns then we have seen the procedure but what if you know uh, the sequence is already given let's assume any sequence let's say it is you know okay let's say it is uh, 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 and so on if there is a certain sequence something like this and you have been asked to detect 1 0 1 in this so what will be the output or maybe you, you may be asked to say uh, uh, to detect yeah maybe 1 0 1 so it starts with this you know left hand side bit it goes till the first one has been detected right so here is the first one being detected then it counts till it appears now we, what we want to detect we want to detect 1 0 1 so it checks for the next state if it is 0 yes it is 0 then it take, checks the next state if it is 1 or 0 okay if it is if it is 1 then only it will say it's as a detector otherwise not and so on now here it won't detect it will detect at what time it will detect it here right at this time instance it will detect just because you know there is a series there is a 1 0 1 which is getting appeared here otherwise it won't say that means the output will be 1 whenever this 1 0 1 is detected so can we have a circuit no see such kind of uh, you know design or the analysis is useful in some chemical industry or anywhere say for example or in some of you are coming up with the design for uh, lock system right uh, security lock so it should act whenever only you know after certain like whenever we are entering a password in atm or anywhere else this is a four it's a four digit password so it will be whenever all the digits will be met then only the lock will open and so on so it has to be entered serially right we don't enter parallelly right so a series of data which is being entered we have to detect whether it has been you know detected correctly or not so such kind of applications can be there so let's see what is called as a sequence detector so sequence detector is like one of its problem one of a kind of a problem but it need not be right it may be any anything anything so let's take the same example of <coughs> to detect let's take an example because these such things can be well understood with the help let's take an example to detect the sequence of 101 <coughs> so say for example we need to detect 101 pattern how we can detect it let's see so 101 detector so this is not uh, this uh, is one one zero one zero 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 one one and so on so it should detect at this time instance whenever this sequence is completed it should say that you know that one zero one has been detected and so on all right <coughs> you got the problem so this is the design problem how to proceed now see i didn't specify with what flip-flop using what uh, you have to uh, you know implement so you are free to choose any flip-flops or any sequentials of course you know it has to remember the previous states so of course it should be a sequential circuit that's for sure now <coughs> first of all whenever you see such kind of problem always remember the first step would be to draw a straight transition diagram because that is the you know, very simplest procedure or it, it would give a, a quick overview of what we desire so step one <coughs> would always be to form a step you know, state transition diagram
but nothing has been specified right i mean how many flip flops would be there how many states would be there see it has been said that we have to detect 101 okay so possibly there are three only three states i mean initially it will be one after that it will be zero and after that it will be one see that after word is important just because it is happening one after the other okay it's happening in sequence that's very important otherwise what would have been the case if the bits are getting we would have normally implemented a counter which operates synchronizingly and we would have simply put a combinational logic there okay as soon as we you know this we, we would have simply put a and 1 0 1 is detected let's say, let it be x y bar and z if that is detected then you know we can easily say that okay that sequence has been detected and that is what is the output okay but here that is not the case it's the, the the data is coming in series okay so we have to take bit by bit we have to you know observe how the bit pattern would change or the states would change depending on the what is the input bit pattern so the i would i would begin you know if i find some such kind of problem i would always begin with the state transition diagram so what is the initial state let it be like <coughs> let it be the let the initial state be a where you know the initial uh, let's say let's say initial state is a that means what the initial condition it may be zero it may be one assume that it's a you no know, zero condition or let's say the state b you know, a b 0 0 or let it be an initial state i'm saying so now here i need to detect three states right 1 0 and 1 right so when when it should go to the next state c i'm saying that initially the state is a let it be one it should go to the next state okay whenever the one has been detected right that means i will say that it will go to state b whenever a one has been detected so one has been detected right is that okay so you know this indicates the you know transition this arc indicates the transition transition means whenever the one is detected okay the input is one it will jump to the next state it will check for the next input whether it is zero or one okay depending on it will act if now we need to you know say that 101 is detected how can we say that it's 101 detected we we may you know raise some flag okay 101 has been detected uh, the output may be one there okay we'll go with that so if only if 101 all three of them is detected then only we will make the output one otherwise not okay so whenever the first bit is collected as one the output is still zero just because not all three bits have been received only one has been received but of course it will jump to the next state to check whether the next bit is 0 or 1 okay now it has come to here where the b state right so let me draw it straight forward why we need a arc there so it will jump to the next state only if the first bit is 1 still at that moment output will be 0 okay next now it's important so it's in so the notation is in slash out all right and a b are nothing but the states states mean the present conditions of the flip flops okay which we shall be using now when now okay here what is the state b state b indicates that one has been received successfully okay that's why it come came to uh, state b otherwise it may not then what is the next step when you know another zero is connected okay so one one is one is done right one is done when the next zero comes then it goes to the next state otherwise it will retain the same state right so i will indicate that with you know with another state c saying that it will jump to the next state when when the input is zero okay just because we need to detect 101 initially when the input bit was one it was jumping to the next state output was still zero just because we didn't we didn't detect the complete sequence next you know the input bit is zero it will jump to the next state but still the output will remain zero just because the third bit is yet to come so zero is the input zero is the output is that clear now now it now what, what does this, this uh, state c indicate state c indicate that one and zero has been successfully received that's why it came to state c right otherwise it may not as soon as it came to state c we need to check the next bit whether it is one or zero if it is one if it is one then we need to say that the you know the, the sequence has been detected that means out should to, should flag to one okay and again it should get back to what condition see now let 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 me first say that okay the output is definitely one here when one has been detected that means when one has been detected output is definitely one okay 
then what should be the next state to go on see there may be a sequence which is coming yeah? okay the, the, the sequence is coming 1 0 1 0 1 0 and so on assume that such sequence is coming all right if 1 0 1 has been detected okay it should flag 1 now it should start beginning from now what is the current state it is 1 so 1 has been already covered okay so it should not jump back to the zero state it should it should it should come back to the state where the one has been already detected right that means if the input is one okay the starting point has been marked already okay so it should jump back to p when it is one and the output is also one it should jump back to b which indicates that one has been already received that's the you know next detector detection state which is coming is this clear <coughs> Okay, I'll explain again. See here. We need to design a one zero one or a sequence detector. Okay. So our first job is to find it out, like how the circuit would uh, behave. Like uh, we need to find a behavioral design. Now I'm introducing those jargons. I need to find a behavior of some circuit which would detect one zero one pattern. All right. So for that purpose, what I said was very step. Uh, step one would be to find the different states it would go in. Therefore, assume that you know there is a sequence something like this: one zero, one zero, one zero, and so on. I need to detect if the one zero one has been detected. I would like to wait till first three bits are one zero one. Then only I can flag it as one. I mean the, the the sequence has been detected. That flag can I can I can I can say that the output is one. So what I will do is I will say that the initial state is A. That means whatever is the initial initial state may be one, may be zero. I'm assuming that A is initial position. Let it be one. Okay. I mean initial condition. I may not specify. I mean uh, it may be anything. Okay. It may be anything. We don't need to worry. As soon as the input sequence comes one, okay, it says that okay one has been detected. So our first step is done. I mean we need to detect one zero one. One has been detected. So it will jump to the next state. State means what? It would wait for the next bit to come, and it will then wait. Uh, it, then it will check that whether it is zero or one. Okay. So what this indicates, it has jumped to next state when, whenever the one has been detected. Otherwise, otherwise it will be in the loop, right? It will be in the initial state when, when the zero has been detected, and output will be still zero, right? Output indicates when one zero one has been successfully detected. Okay. So it will remain in the same state if zero has been detected. It will jump to the next state when the one has been detected. At that moment, also output will be zero because output we are going to make one only if all three bits have been received as one zero one only. Otherwise, not. So it will jump to the next state. One has been input. Output will be zero. That's okay. What does B state indicate? B state indicates that the one has been successfully received. Otherwise, it may not come to this state. One has been successfully received. Okay. What we need to do next? We need to check for the next bit whether it is zero or one. It would jump to the next state only if the next bit is zero, because that is what is desired. Otherwise, it will be in the same loop. So, it will jump to the next state whenever the zero has been detected. Still, the output will be zero just because not all three bits have been received. Otherwise, it will be in the same loop. Okay, it will check. Uh, you know, because this indicates that uh, you know. Uh, I'll check this condition later. I'll consider this condition later. What is here? Now it comes to state C. What does C state C indicate? One and zero has been received. Two bits have been received successfully. We'll wait for the third bit. If it is one, then only I will say that the sequence has been detected successfully, and I will throw the output as one. Otherwise, not. So I will say that you know if the input is one, output will be one, and you know it will jump to bit state. Now see, I'm saying that it will jump to the B state just because. It will, it will, it will see that when ne next one zero one comes. Okay, that means what? See, I mean, I would have. So you would have uh, argued that it may retain in the same state. But you know, if it is, uh, let's consider this condition. What if the input is zero? That means one zero has been received. If the next bit is zero, now this sequence has been broken. We wanted one zero one, but it has come to one zero zero. Okay, so what if? What if it is zero? It will go back to the initial state. Okay. When, when the input is zero, output is, will be zero. Okay, just because the sequence has not been detected, so the output becomes <coughs> zero. Okay. 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 Okay
zero when the input has not been detected it will become one when the input has been detected and so on what is this remaining see each state should have two uh, arcs going outside okay so here the thing is done for a when the input is zero no no it will be in the same state when it, when it is one it will go to the next state sabka do input or do out sabko do output mile hai okay just because you know we have checked both the conditions if the input is zero and input is one only thing left is b okay when b the input is zero it will jump back to the c okay what if the input is one that means if one has been successfully received and after that again one would come then the next zero would come right so it will retain the same state right that means if instead of this now let me cons consider this sequence now are you getting see it should be 1 0 now instead of that okay i'm saying that <coughs> Uh, from zero, if the one has detected, it will jump to the next state. So this is the B state. But the next is one again. Okay, that means what? We wanted one zero, but we got one one. That means it will wait till the next zero would come. That means it will retain the same state. So it will be in the same state when when the input will be huh? when the input will be one, and still the output will be zero. Is this understood? Clear? You tell me, all of you. <coughs> All right. If this is done, job is done. Okay, because इसके बाद करना ही क्या है अपने को? Input लिखना है, states लिखना है, present states, output state define करना है और design करना है. Proceed with that. Okay. Now it has not been mentioned. Yes, please. Huh? From B you didn't get. Last one you didn't get. Okay. <coughs> Assume that the sequence to be uh, which is coming at the input of certain circuit. We are. What is our aim? Our aim is to detect one zero one. So this is one zero one detector circuit, and the sequence is coming serially. Okay, we need to flag output as one only if this one zero one has been detected. Okay, so input is continuously coming. Let's assume that the data is this one. Okay, so as soon as no, I am considering the case where the B state is there. That means one one has been successfully received. Consider this condition when one has been successfully received. Okay. as soon as the next bit comes so to be one again okay the sequence has been broken right i mean we wanted 101 but we got 110 at mean the next one if it would have been 10 would have waited till the next one would have come but it has come out turn out to be 11 again sequence has broken okay that means what this one the next one which has come it will mark the beginning for the next detection okay that means we have to detect 101 so this next one will form the fern to detect the next 101 Is that okay? It will go to. Okay, okay. If it is going to A again, it, it will back to the B whenever the one will be detected. But one has been already detected. If the next bit is zero, then it will go to the when in after this, after this when it is going to zero. See when it is zero, it will go to next bit. When the bit is zero, after one, if it is coming zero. That means if it has B and incoming is zero, it will go to the next state. Just because we wanted to detect one zero one. See, state indicates that the current the current output. Okay, what we want. This is one state. This is another state. This is third state. What we want one zero one to be detected. This is one state, second state, third state. A, B, C, and so on. <coughs> This is the initial state. Whenever the one will be detected, then only it will go to the next state. Okay, state. Test means the the condition at which. The output should flag it, you know, uh, uh, the the conditions of the flip flop. You can say, okay, state. I have defined here the conditions of the flip flop or the current states of the flip flop. So it will jump to the next state only if one has been detected. Otherwise, it will retain in the same state, waiting for the next one to come. Okay. Okay. First one has been detected. It will jump to the next state whenever the zero has been detected. Just because we wanted one zero one to be the detector. If not, if not, if one comes. Then again, it will wait till the same, the, till the next zero comes. It will jump to the next state only if one zero has been successfully received, and it will check, and it will wait till the next one is again being repeated. Just because we wanted one zero one to be detected. So if one has been detected, that means all one zero one has been detected successfully. Because यहाँ पे तभी आएगा जो one zero detect होगा, और ये one फिर से अगर detect होता है, तभी मैं output one दूँगा. That means it will go. Definitely the output will be one, but it will go back to what state? See, 
one has been successfully re received, right? So the current state becomes, you know, when the one has been successfully received. So, you know, the output will be one and, you know, whatever the state is, one, zero, one, that means what, it should begin the next detection. One, zero, one to detect, okay, output is one. It should begin the next detection whenever, you know, the next one will be appearing and it will start to come from here. Right? Okay, that's why I've jumped from here to here. If it is zero, yeah. Okay. Yes, that's what we want. Oh, I'm assuming that the overlap is allowed. Just because if you don't consider, see, there are two ways. Yes, very good question there. She's saying that one zero one. If, if the sequence is until this, okay. You may argue that you know one zero one is appearing only once. Okay, if we consider the non-overlapping fashion, one zero one has been detected once, and here is only zero one. Okay, that's fine. If I'm not considering, if I'm not considering overlap, but if I consider overlap, that's that's what the you know uh, the, the 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 complexity you should you should be ready with, right? This sequence is having how many one zero one patterns? See, I'm just bothered about when the one zero one is being detected. One zero one has been detected here, and also one zero one has been detected here. Okay, so I'm considering the overlap condition also. You may not see in the question specified here. I didn't I didn't specify anything overlap or non overlap. I didn't specify, but you know safe side. I have said that okay. Whenever one zero one appears, okay, I'll make it make the flag as one. Other condition would be I may not consider the overlap. Okay, that is another. Thing. In that case, in that case, the state would change. Is that okay? Yeah, here I am assuming that the overlap is allowed. Now, if this is done, everything is done. Let's. All right. <clears throat> so, can you just come up with the transition table? Come up with the transition table. Hello. Ah. Ah, bolo. Me patho la. Tere aaj check karun. Kala la hota. Bande mere apne official email aur un patho la karne. Me patho la. Aaj check karun tere samne. बर बर ठीक है ठीक है मैं सांत्वन लाभ देते हैं नहीं उधर नहीं नहीं हाँ ये ना सांत्वन का सुपर मैं फोन स्टॉप करूँ मैं सांत्वन लगा मान बारह साल में मैं सांत्वन लगा दार दार साल दल सांत्वन अकरा कोई Yeah. So, what is the next step? You tell me. Next step. A transition table will be a transition diagram. Will be. Uske baad kya karenge? Now, tell me. You need to. Uh, no, you need to retain only three states here, right? How many flip flops would be required? Three states. Two flip flops, right? And the fourth step, uh, fourth state will be unused, or you may utilize it to reset it back to the first state. Again, that is not been specified. Okay. As a designer, you should take care of all the conditions. Okay, if you don't care, okay, you, you being a lazy designer, you won't care about the four state. Okay, so three states are there, two flip flops are required. I didn't specify what flip flop it would be. So form a state transition table and solve it using D flip flop, T flip flop, and J flip flop. Do that. Let's see how many of you are doing that. So this one, this this column, okay, this one, okay. सबके सब डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप के साथ स्टार्ट करते हैं और यू नो सिंपल वन इज टी फ्लिप फ्लॉप डिजाइन इज यूजिंग टी फ्लिप फ्लॉप गो फॉर टी फ्लिप फ्लॉप इंप्लीमेंटेशन सो व्हाट वुड बी द नेक्स्ट स्टेप आई जस्ट सेड यू नो लेट मी बिगिन यू नो सॉफ्ट स्टार्ट दिस सो व्हाट वाज द यूजुअल प्रोसीजर व्हिच वी वर यू नो फॉलोइंग we were having the present state right what is that now we need uh, okay we have said that we need to search flip flops to so q1 q0 there what is the present input so it is the input uh q1 q0 present input x 
so this is the input then there will be next dates q1 plus q0 plus and of course output y check all the combinations check all the combinations not only this will require will require what aur kya lagega yahan pe bolo yes flip flop jo design kar rahe hain unki input we have seen we have followed such procedure before so let me write as flip flop uh, inputs two flip flops so i am assuming the t flip flop t1 t0 and you know you can accordingly specify what is desired all right so you would go to the all the combinations of uh this one 00 00 1 and so on <clears throat> all right so complete this table you should consider it like this okay so those who are finding it difficult how do i write this you know jumping of this arc to here should say that okay see 101 has been detected after this has been detected so okay the output is definitely one okay the first marking has been done where should the next starting or next marking should begin from it should begin from the same one right one kaha pe detect hua hai have it to one just to jump here okay otherwise you know it will be waste of state from here then it will waste from and otherwise it will be non overlap <coughs> implement using d flip flop d flip flop and j flip flop Tell me the expressions. And 
draw the concrete diagram. Let me write that you know this state. Okay. So the A is nothing but. A is zero zero. That is what is the current state? Q. Okay, sorry. Q one and Q zero. B is zero one or one zero. It's C, and you know that one one we don't care. Let's assume that.
got expeditions quick. <coughs> जो काफी सारी चीजें जो है वो सिलेबस में स्पेसिफाई नहीं की इम्पॉर्टेंट इन विध रेस्पेक्ट टू यम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वो सरप्राइज होगा जो आखिरी वाला जो क्वेश्चन था अपना ओके okay. मैं दिखा देता हूँ लास्ट क्वेश्चन इन सेशनल टू एग्जामिनेशन इट मी शो इट यू ये वाला आई एम सेइंग दैट दिस इज आल्सो सम सीक्वेंस डिटेक्टर कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट सीक्वेंस डिटेक्टर इज आउटपुट वाज कितने बार वन हुआ था चार बार ओके आंसर सबको याद है बताओ ये कौन सा डिटेक्टर सीक्वेंस तो दिया हुआ था और कब कब वन हुआ है डू यू रिमेंबर यू आंसर्स कब कब वन हुआ है वो दिखाया क्या आपने यू लुक एट द स्टेज इनिशियली इट इज 00 It will go to the next state only if the input is one. It will go to the next state only if the input is one. Output is still zero. It will go to the next. Yeah. Yes. It's a one zero one detector, but with an extra state one one. We don't have that. That's what I'm saying. See, our design. This design may not be a minimum one, but it is taking care of the undefined state also, where which we don't care right now, just because we are lazy. Right. So, if you are not lazy, you may consider this state. Okay. In that way, you will be no. The, the diagram would be comprehensive, and you would take care of all the uh, transitions. So this this is indeed a one zero one detector, and there comes your question. Shanti, uh, see here. Now here it's again here the overlap is allowed. So see now how many times one zero one is coming. One zero one one time. One zero one two times. Then it will wait till the next one zero one is coming. Here the next one is not come. Uh, next zero is not come. One has come, so it will return to the same state. It will start counting from here. That's why it is in B. Then it is one zero one again. Then it is one zero. Sequence has been broken. It will come back to the next, you know, the initial state one. It will check for the next one zero one. How many times one zero one? One zero one. One zero one. One zero one. And one zero. आपको आखिरी में भी one मिला होगा. That's why it's a one zero one detector four times. Okay. So. <coughs> you should give the questions to look into the future of your course right so it's like a good bridge between what you would be learning in your course so what we were having okay last time it we have we have seen the sequence generator first generator here we have seen the sequence detector can tell me the expression expression for t flip flop quick ओके टेल मी द स्टेट्स फर्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्टेट बोलो जीरो जीरो इनपुट जीरो कहां पे जाएगा ये सेम स्टेट सो इट्स आई आई बेटर से दैट इट्स अ स्टेट ए इट्स सेल्फ ओके सो इट्स स्टेट ए इफ इट इज स्टेट ए इट विल बी इन द स्टेट ए एंड सो ऑन सो दिस टू इंडिकेट स्टेट ए दिस टू इंडिकेट्स द प्रेजेंट स्टेट एज बी दिस टू इंडिकेट्स द प्रेजेंट स्टेट एज सी इजंट इट So next state will be written in A. Whenever zero zero and one appears, it will jump to zero, which is state one zero. Oh sorry, a zero one and then zero is coming. It will return to the same state. Uh, 
wait a minute one when it is zero zero one is coming it will go to zero one when it is zero one and it is zero then then it will be one zero yes it will jump to the next state which is c right till this moment output will be zero zero right then the current state is zero one input is one zero one input is one zero one which is nothing but output is when it is as one zero that means it is in c state and still you are getting zero it will come back to ha huh? see you know when it is one zero that means it is in state c and the input is zero what is the next state ha huh? a that means output is when it is 1 0 next one is been coming okay our output will be 1 and the next state will be exact 0 1 state b is that okay what about this we are very lazy so because but i will not ask you to be lazy in the exams i will put some you know some weird question there and you will have to work hard for that cross cross there tell me the expressions yeah can you tell me what would be the input if you want current state to be 0 0 and next state to be 0 0 what should be the inputs here yeah 0 0 tell me the others 0 1 yes 0 1 after that 1 1 after that this constant on present state and next state for this yeah 0 1 0 1 so it is 0 0 1 0 0 0 it is 1 0 After that, this one one. What about this? Yeah. Well, we don't care. Again, I am saying that I may not be lazy during setting the exam. Okay. So you must take care of all the state transitions. Tell me the expressions quick. Expressions for T one, T zero, and Y. T one. You tell me T one. Huh? Q one bar. Q zero. Is that okay? Are you getting this? Okay, plus Q1, Q0 bar. This is what you are getting. I don't think so. You have you haven't taken zero condition. There's don't care condition. All right. Now, K map. Tell me. Will you have to tell me? Look here. it depends how you take the k map okay so here i am taking x q1 q0 yeah q0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 now it would be counting you know uh, row wise yeah tell me it is now well i am asking you for t1 so it is 1 at 0 1 2 Four, five, two, four, five. It's one, two, four. Is that okay? Huh? No. That's fine. No, one zero one. When is the T one? This what? Zero one two three four five six and seven. Right? These are the states. Huh? I have taken x as a oh okay 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 ah the ठीक है तो zero 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 it will be you tell me the values then let me rub this अब उसकी आधा है ना ठीक है it is one when when it is zero one zero right When it is zero one and zero here, right? Is that okay now? So it is one here. Then it is one when when it is one zero zero. When it is one zero and zero here, then it is one zero one, one zero one. Then this don't care is at you know one one zero and one one one, one one zero and one one one. Oh sorry, don't care, right? So it is don't care, don't care there. Is that okay now? 
now what is the expression tell me the expression now how you can combine this i can combine like this tell me the expression what is this it is q1 q1 no this is only q1 right plus this is what uh, q0 x bar yes q0 x bar you should get this expression for t1 are you all getting this doesn't matter what way you solve the k map you must get this expression so it is q1 plus q0 x bar tell me other expressions tell me for t0 bolo t0 ke liye kya hai ha q0 plus q1 x is that okay sabko mila is it is it what is no mereko har solve karna pad raha hai sharam karo sabko ek output aana chahiye this x Q zero, oh sorry, Q one and Q zero. ज़रूरी है कि मैं ऐसा K map बनाऊँ, मैं खड़ा भी बना सकता हूँ ना, बनाते हैं। I am not maintaining the uniformity, नहीं? In the mind it should be uniform, I mean it should be proper, but you know, yeah. So let me. Draw the K map in this fashion. What fashion? Khada wala. So I'm drawing the K map like this. Bolu, yahan pe kya likhu? Q1, Q0, X. Abhi theek hai? Zero one. Zero 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 one one zero one one. Ah, now tell me, T zero is one when zero zero one is there. Zero zero one कहाँ पे? Zero zero one यहाँ. ठीक है? उसके बाद zero one zero zero one zero यहाँ पे ना? उसके बाद one zero one one zero one यहाँ पे. उसके बाद I think it's coming XOR pattern. This is one one zero and one one one, one one zero and one one one. I think one part would be XOR. Yeah. Oh sorry sir. ठीक है नहीं कर नहीं सिर्फ करता हूँ ठीक है. Expression बढ़ाएगा पर गलत नहीं होगा. पर मेरे को छोटा चाहिए नहीं. ठीक है. So white should be grey. What what was wrong in the last tip? Why why it should be? Why first one one white? Why should be one one and then zero 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 one? Tell me. Yes. Why we need only one bit to be changed, Aman? You got her answer. What was the question? Why are you looking? Okay. <coughs> yeah. So I should combine this. That's it. Where is that? Oh, one is left. One zero one. Here, na? Yeah, I mean I can combine like this and like that. Uh, what? Like this, I can combine. Huh? Huh? Anyway, you can combine. You should get the minimal one, right? What is that expression? You tell me. X or? What? Bolo. Q zero. 
that's it plus that's it na all right so this is the expression for t0 circuit draw karo fatafat और जब सर्किट ड्रॉ करोगे तब सबके कनेक्शन बनाओ सर नहीं नहीं मैंने है ना सिर्फ एक दंडी यहाँ पे नहीं लगाई जीरो मार्क दूंगा मैं इस बार मैंने हाफ मार्क व एक मार्क तो भी दिया है आपको एक भी मार्क नहीं दूंगा अगली बार एक दंडी भी आपने छोड़ी क्लॉक नहीं लगाया नहीं मैंने सिर्फ सर एक डबल ने छोड़ बबल छोड़ा जीरो मार्क आउटपुट कहाँ आएगा आउटपुट नहीं आएगा बनाओ जिनका टी फ्लिप फ्लॉप का डिजाइन हो चुका है दे गो फॉर जे के फ्लिप फ्लॉप गो फॉर डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप फर्स्ट गो फॉर डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप इंप्लीमेंटेशन डी अब तक के नहीं किया ना हमने डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप से इंप्लीमेंट करो लेट इज बी अ ड्यूटोरियल क्लास इंप्लीमेंट फुल सर्किट दो जो हैव डन दैट ओके दो हैव फिनिश गो फॉर डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप इंप्लीमेंटेशन को ज्यादा टाइम नहीं लगना चाहिए फटाफट करो आप बहुत बहुत स्लो पेस से जा रहे हो जिनका वो भी हो गया वो फॉर वन जीरो
JK also go for JK system implementation. So the input to D will be simply the next state. Isn't that sim you know, very simple, na? Copy all those next state that will be D, na? D kya rakha wahan pe? No, D. Yeah, I mean, two D flip flops will be required, na? Yes. So you simply copy next state to uh, input. That's it. Simply copy the next case to D. So वहाँ पे आएगा D one और D zero और जो entries रहेंगी वो पूरा next states रहेंगे सर। Because that's what we expect. That's what has to be fed to the input. Just because these are these are दूसरा नाम क्या है? ठीक है? These are दूसरा नाम क्या है? Don जवाब नहीं दिया जीरो मार्क दूंगा ये क्या है बैट चल रहा है क्या फ्लिप फ्लॉप आर कंसिडर्ड और आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड यूजिंग पहला क्वेश्चन आपने अगर गलती से भी जो पहले जो आपने सही जवाब दे दिया ना उसको भी मैं जीरो करके जीरो दे दूंगा What is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous? Difference between synchronous and asynchronous. Just tell me the pictures. We don't get confused with the words. There are two kinds of machines, right? What do you mean by FSM? What is FSM? Rimsha? What is FSM? What do you mean by FSM? What do you mean by FSM? What is FSM? What? What do you mean by FSM? What is finite state machine? FSMs are nothing but signature circuit. That's it. Hello. 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 ठीक है ठीक है। अरे तो नहीं है मतलब इसे कावल है आपको। मैं बहुत तो विचार तो कॉल करता हूँ। ठीक है ठीक है। सांगी। ठीक ठीक है ना ठीक है। ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है या टेल मी द एक्सप्रेशंस d1 d0 y क्विक t1 बोलो x बार q Q0, U0, बराबर है, D0, X, is that okay? Everyone got this? I think it's correct. 
what about out output q1x q1x right good very good homework for you go to go for 1010 detector using d toggle jkp these are all synchronous circuits <coughs> right so all right so let's stop here i think